Hey everybody, this is Matt Fury with Avid coming to you from the Avid show floor here at NAB 2010. Lots of exciting things happening here at NAB. Probably nothing bigger than the release of Media Composer 5.0. Why is it so big? Well, there's some features coming that people thought maybe they'd never ever see, and it really starts with AMA. Many of you are familiar with AMA. It's a plugin architecture that allows camera manufacturers to actually write plugins for Media Composer. So when we released it last year, that meant you could access P2 and XDK material directly inside your Media Composer instantly. No rewrapping, no importing, no transcoding, none of that. Well, in 5.0, AMA has been expanded to include QuickTime, and that includes things like ProRes or H.264. So obviously a lot of people are really excited about this because QuickTime is a pretty predominant format. Another thing that's happening with AMA is the Canon XF format. Canon is introducing this new XF camera and format here at NAB. When it ships in June, Media Composer will also ship at that same time. You can use XF media right inside your Media Composer. On top of that, and it just keeps going, RED. You know, many of you are familiar with the RED camera. Many of you are looking to use the RED camera. Uh, historically, what you'd have to do is use third-party software from Avid or RED or another company to transcode that high-res RED media to HD files so you could use them inside Media Composer. Not anymore. With AMA, it takes care of all that. You just link directly to the AMA files, and there they are inside Media Composer. You even get a really great set of tools for adjusting the color space for those files because they are raw images, and you want to have that capability. A lot of you know that uh, Pro Tools, made by Avid, a lot of great technology in Pro Tools that we're now starting to leverage inside Media Composer. In version 5.0, what you're going to see is the introduction of real-time audio suite plugins inside Media Composer. This is a huge thing for video editors because you're doing a lot of work with dialogue and music where you want to clean things up, you want to use professional quality plugins, but you'd like to use them in real time, so you don't spend a lot of time rendering and going through the same loop over and over again. So real-time audio suite plugins, a lot of them bundled in with Media Composer, and of course, because there's all kinds of third parties that make Artaz plugins, there's a lot for you to choose from out there. A lot of little enhancements, too, that uh, don't always make the big news, but I think an existing Media Composer editor is going to be very excited about uh, changes to the timeline. Where we can actually do direct manipulation now, so no more going into different modes to do segment override or insert or trimming. You just set up your smart tools, and as you move the cursor around the timeline, all those modes engage automatically. So you don't really have to think about it. You just, just edit, which is really what you want to do. Uh, Autosync. Now, you know we've had Autosync for some time. It allows you to synchronize audio and video sources that were recorded separately. And you could use endpoints or outpoints or source time code. But what's been introduced in 5.0 is the ability to be selective about which audio tracks you want to keep. So a lot of times you're shooting your, your video and you've recorded a couple of audio tracks there, maybe a scratch track. And you get your broadcast wave recorder and you're recording audio tracks there as well. When you do the autosync now, you can actually say, listen, I want you know, any number of audio tracks from the video source and any number of audio tracks from the audio source. And it'll automatically collapse those together, giving you just the audio tracks that you want with your video source. Uh, let's see, there's just so many things. Uh, Matrox, you know, we're talking a lot about file-based workflows. If you're working predominantly with file-based formats, you might not necessarily need the acceleration and full I.O. capabilities of a Mojo DX or a Nitrous DX. That's where Matrox's MX02 Mini really comes in handy. For under $500, you have a full video output monitoring solution, uh, does HDMI and analog HD out, and uh, you know, again, if you're working with Media Composer and you want to just be able to do video output so you can you know, view your material, uh, Matrox is a great solution for that. Uh, as I said, we're expecting to ship this in June, so please keep an eye on our website. As always, we have the free download of Media Composer, and I'm sure when 5.0 comes out in June, we're going to have that available for you to try on a trial basis. So please keep an eye on our website, and uh, we hope you like it.